Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you one last MIDI note entry method called Note Repeat. This is kind of a niche thing, but I'm gonna show you it anyway because it's really cool for entering in rapid, repeated notes at varying rhythmic durations. In particular, I find this really helpful for creating cool trap hi-hat rhythms, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. But before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. Boombox.io is an awesome new music storage and audio file commenting tool that's perfect for musicians, producers, beat makers, and other collaborative music makers. With Boombox, you can upload your tracks. The site supports single file upload or batch upload. You can invite collaborators like other producers, other co-writers, bandmates, and others to comment on your tracks in the form of time-stamped feedback. If you want to check it out for yourself, head over to boombox.io where you can sign up for a free account today and get four gigabytes of free storage. So in this project, I already have a basic eight bar beat. This is just sub bass, kick drum, snare, and clap. There's no hi-hat yet. I've got a hi-hat instrument, just an isolated hi-hat on the note C3. When doing this sort of thing, I highly recommend that you separate your hi-hat from the rest of your drum kit. And the way you can just select a single hi-hat is create a new software instrument track, go into the library, go to electronic drum kit, and scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, and there's an option that says kit pieces. Here you can choose individual kit pieces for drum machine designer. So I've selected hi-hats, and then I've selected the Silver Lake hi-hat. But you can see there's all these different hi-hats in here for you to pick from if you like building your drum beats track by track. And then I also have this Astro Funk bass, which is actually the first instrument I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial. Now, if you wanna follow along with me, this project is available as a free download in the video description below. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to show the toolbar by clicking here. And then if you don't see the note repeat option here, you're gonna to wanna to right click or control click here and select customize toolbar and then make sure that note repeat is shown. Okay, so I'll just click on note repeat, and by default, you'll get this sort of really basic view of note repeat. You can click here to open up some other controls. There's also a key remote feature that I'll show you how to use with the hi-hat, but for bass, I'm just gonna keep this simple. And the way this works is whatever track you have record enabled and selected will be transformed by the note repeat dialog as long as note repeat is pulled up. So right now you can see that the rate says eighth note, velocity as played, and gate 90. Let me just play a few notes in with my bass. And if I change the rate to something faster, like maybe a 16th note, you'll hear that reflected in the bass part. You can also set the velocity to a fixed value or you can just drag this all the way down and you can set the velocity as played. So I'm gonna set my velocity to like 100. And then the gate determines how much space is between the notes. So the lower the gate value, the more staccato the notes are gonna seem. I think 29 is probably a bit too much. So I'm gonna pull this up to like somewhere in the 60s. So now all you have to do is record with that track and note repeat will transform the MIDI input going to the track. And there you go. So now when I open this MIDI region up, you'll see that all of the notes have been automatically transformed into repeated 16th notes. Everything is perfectly quantized to the grid. I do have a few overlapping notes here that I may want to go ahead and edit, but most of the hard work is done for you here. So you don't have to type in the notes one by one. There's no need to go through and swipe with the brush tool. Although you could make the argument that you could do this faster with the step sequencer. So it's completely up to you. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at some of these additional features in Note Repeat. I'm gonna pull up the key remote. 
Now, there are some additional ways to sort of transform the note repeat using modulation wheel, aftertouch, or pitch bend. I don't really use these features, so I'm mainly just going to be using the key remote. And what the key remote does is it allows you to switch the rate of the note repeat using notes or keys on your MIDI controller. So at the very bottom, you'll see that C negative one is a quarter note. Then you have eighth notes, 16th notes, all the way up to 256th notes. And then starting at the zero octave, you have triplet values. And then some of these black keys are dotted values. That's what these ones are. I almost never use the dotted values. For trap hi-hats, I pretty much just stick with eighth notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes, and occasionally some of these triplet values as well. So what I'm going to do is just arm the hi-hat track. And then what I'm going to do is pull up the keyboard here, just so you can see what I'm playing in, because I'm actually using because I'm actually using a MIDI keyboard controller for this. And essentially what I'm gonna be doing is holding down the note C3 while changing the rhythmic value of note repeat in these lower keys in the negative one and zero octaves. Okay, so let's give this a shot. I'm just going to hit R to record, hold down C3 for the hi-hat, and then play in some various note repeat values. Okay, so now what I can do is go into the piano roll editor, and you'll see that all of these notes have been quantized to the grid following the rhythms that I played in. Often what I like to do is come in here and edit some of these notes and maybe even delete some of the notes just to give it a bit more variety. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, so if you're a fan of trap music and you like these sort of quick, rapid trap hi-hats, I find note repeat perfect for getting these types of recordings in relatively quickly. Now, honestly, this feature is much easier to use if you have some sort of beat pad style controller like the Novation Launchpad or Launchpad Pro because the pads are much closer together than the keys on a keyboard controller. And if you don't have at least a 49 or 61 key keyboard controller, using note repeat is going to be rather difficult for you. I actually did a video a while back using my Launchpad to trigger the different note repeat values. So I'll show you a bit of that video now. So that's the note repeat function. Again, kind of a niche function that only some people are going to use, but I find it incredibly helpful for quick rapid fire note input, especially if you're only using a few notes or even just one note like with the hi-hats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.